If you have followed this channel for a while now, you'll know that one of the most popular series on the channel is 10 things you didn't know about Black Ops 4, Black Ops 3, or whatever game we are playing. And with Black Ops 4, we started a new series this year called 10 things you didn't know about Blackout. And this is definitely one of the most popular series on the channel, and I really do appreciate that you guys enjoy it. And if you do enjoy these type of videos, the best way to show me is simply by hitting that like button. Now, as far as what we do in this series, we take little intricate details about the game that wouldn't normally happen and put them to the test and try to figure out what is possible and what isn't. And I have to say that this episode is definitely one of my favorites because there's a bunch of things throughout this episode that I didn't even know and surprised me once we tested them out. So in this episode, let's start out very basic and get more complex as we go. So first of all, in last episode, we actually went through and looked at the EMP versus all of the vehicles and found that the EMP had the same effect on all of the vehicles, but I left one out. And the one that I left out, of course, would be the boat. And Kill Erder let me know that I forgot the boat and the EMP, so I thought that I would show you that once again, the EMP does do the exact same thing against the boat. However, there is a little bit of a caveat. If you throw the EMP into the river or somewhere that actually has has some deep water it will just sink to the bottom and the EMP explosion isn't big enough to affect the boat as you are seeing here so really the only way that the EMP grenade will actually work is if the boat is very close to the shore where the water is very shallow now the next thing doesn't just have to do with blackout or multiplayer but kind of all of black ops 4 together one of the newest items that they've added into the game is gestures and they've added in a lot of them but one thing that i have always wondered is do the gestures affect the hitboxes of the character now as far as what are hitboxes it is the area of the character that is going to give you a hit marker and allow you to do damage to them so based off of the position of the character like in gestures will it actually change where that hitbox is. And the easy answer to that is yes, it absolutely does. The first thing I tested was an obvious one, the tranquility emote, which allows your player to actually sit down on the ground. And as you can see me here sniping with the paladin, I'm literally shooting right through where the body would normally be. So obviously the hitbox on this character is much smaller than it normally would be if the character was standing. So as you can see by that, the hitbox can shrink. Now, the next thing I tested with the bonfire emote is if it could simply just move down a little bit. And as you can see here, as the character crouches down to rub her hands above the fire, you can see that I'm shooting where her head normally would be and missing because the emote moves the hitbox. So what does this mean for the game? What this means is that yes, you can actually dodge bullets while doing the matrix gesture. So we can see that the hitbox can get smaller, we can see that the hitbox can move, but can it actually get larger based off of some of the gestures? So what I tried here was with the wave gesture, the character throws her arms up into the air. So I tried to shoot above the head of the character to see if I would get a hit marker above that area. And as it turns out, I actually do, as you can see me shooting just above the character's head in this here. So I take this a step further and try to hit the character's hand and it actually misses. And you can see as I pause it here, I shot right when the bullet would be on the person's hand. So it appears as though it does make the hitbox bigger, but only slightly bigger. Now coming up next is one that is so simple I would have assumed we have already tested, but we simply haven't done it yet. And Waterboy underscore 3200 asks, can the barricade melt the razor wire? Now I'm guessing the reason why we haven't tested this yet is because it's kind of like a torque thing up against a torque thing, but I assumed that it would. However, upon testing this, it absolutely did nothing to the razor wire. The barricade stood there, the razor wire stood there, nothing happened. Now, that one's pretty boring, right? Now, I put this one in there because I simply hadn't tested it before and thought you might find it interesting. However, to make up for it, this next one absolutely blew my mind. So Andy Connell commented on the last video saying, you can revive all three of your teammates at once if they're grouped together. And this I immediately called bullshit on because I figured if this was a thing, I would already know about this and people would be doing it all the time. Now, after testing this out and getting a little bit into the human centipede, as you can see here, I found that this actually works. If you group your teammates close enough together and you kind of just heal in the middle of them, it is possible to heal every single one of your teammates at once, which 
I guess I'm going to start using a little bit more frequently now, but I had no idea that this was actually a thing. So after this, instead of testing something that you guys have put forward, I actually wanted to test something that Treyarch added in a recent update. So in the April 30th update, which is the Operation Spectre Rising update, they added something saying weapons. Bullets that travel underwater will now inflict reduced damage, and this is supposed to be in both multiplayer and blackout. So, of course, we're talking about blackout today, so I thought we would test it out. So the first weapon we tried out was the GKS against level 2 armor, and out of water, it dealt 19 damage from this range. As you can see, we're standing at the very edge of the building so that we can keep it consistent. And in water from the same distance, it deals 19 damage once again. So there was no damage reduction as far as the GKS went, but we increased the range. We went to the corner of these buildings here. We changed the weapon. We are now using a KN-57. We are still using the level 2 armor. And as you can see here, the KN-57 from this range out of water deals 25 damage. So we hopped back underwater and tested the KN-57 from the same range with level 2 armor underwater. And once again, it dealt 25 damage, exactly the same as out of the water. So we thought, you know what, maybe it is the armor that's doing this. So we dropped the armor, and this time, out of the water, the KN-57 was dealing 36 damage. And in the water, it was also dealing 36 damage. So as far as the bullets that travel underwater now inflict reduced damage, it appears that that is not actually live in Blackout. You would think that Treyarch would have tested this. We were even doing it at a range where you could barely see your enemy underwater. So I'm guessing that this one is completely busted. But if you've experienced something different or a different situation, let me know down in the comments because what we were doing here clearly wasn't working like the patch intended. So one thing that you may know is playing Blackout, because it's a bullet travel time system, you are actually able to trade kills. In other words, kill each other at the exact same time. Now, the big question is, what happens if two people who are the last two people alive kill each other at the exact same time? Who wins? Is it the person with more kills? Is it the team with more kills? Well, this actually happened while I was playing last night, and as it turns out absolutely nothing happens nobody wins the game both teams finish in second place and that is that the only reason why we know that this happened is because the other team freaked out that they came in second and they're like well they must have came in first but that is not what happens both teams finish in second and nobody wins never had a draw like that before i'm pretty sure he got first place too holy shit so one of the first things that I showed you in this series, 10 things about Blackout, is the perk mobility. The fact that you can jump off the highest building in the map, not deploy your wingsuit, and still survive because of this perk. So Boy Lel asked, what happens if you use mobility mid-air after you jump off construction? So there's two parts to this. First of all, will you have enough time to use mobility? And the second part is, will it save you from the fall? So the answer is, it does save you from the fall and you just barely have enough time to deploy it before you hit the ground. It was about a half a second that mobility finished before hitting the ground. Now the final thing here some of you may have actually known but some of you may have not so this is the fact that you're actually able to track people through the grass in blackout because you see what they have implemented with the grass is that when you walk through it as you can see here you actually flatten the grass so if someone has recently gone through the area that you're in you're gonna see some more flattened grass than is normally there now on top of this you're actually able to tell how they moved through that area too as you can see when we have the quad here as they go through the grass they actually leave two different marks. You can see the wheel marks going through the grass. And this is sped up, but as you can see, the marks in the grass last for about 35 seconds. So you know that if you see marks in the grass, there's going to be someone at least relatively close to you. So these are actually a pretty good indication that you got to be on your guard or you got to be looking for someone who's pretty close to you. If it's vehicle marks, not so much, but you get the general idea. But ladies and gentlemen, that is 10 things you probably didn't know about Call of Duty Black Ops 4's Black out now let me know down in the comments what you did know what you didn't know and on top of that give me some ideas to test out in the future if there's something that you think is true let me know down in the comments and maybe you'll get your comment featured on a future video also if you enjoyed the video i'd really appreciate it if you could hit that like button the biggest one in this video that i didn't know about is that you could heal your whole team at once i honestly had no idea that that was actually possible and guys of course if you like what you see here and want to stay up to date on all my videos the best way to do so make sure you hit that subscribe button and have notifications turned on but guys i hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and until next time
Peace out. We are, we are reaching for the stars.